After having made it successfully to the watchtower, we felt all we had to do was double back to get to where we drifted from. It wasn't quite straightforward as it sounded though. The muddy trails were deceptive and most turns looked the same, causing us to worry if we were driving inwards into the forest. Nevertheless, after a few wayward choices, we did manage to get to Tarmac. Hey, we made it back onto the mainland. The last few minutes have been extremely anxious because it, it felt like we were, you know, we were getting deeper into the woods. And you know how it uh, looks like when you are in the interiors of the forest, all roads look alike. But thankfully, we have successfully managed to return to the point that we deviated from. And now, we are on the road again and we head down to our last um, point in the itinerary, which is the Coach Color Reservoir. So, hard luck guys, this is the entry point for the Coach Pearly project. However, the Portopoli Reservoir access is uh, closed for the day. Okay guys, so what you just saw was the entry point for the Portopoli Reservoir. But, bad luck, uh, it appears to be closed for the day. Now I checked with the security guys at the cabin. Now what they tell me is that this is going to someone losing their life. And I'm not too certain, I wasn't given you know, much detail about uh, what really happened. It looks like someone uh, uh, drowned in the reservoir. I like, uh, feel very sorry for whoever lost uh, his or her life. So we decided to pull over for lunch. It was uh, way past due. There was no means of obtaining an official account of why the reservoir was closed and when it would reopen. The word at the restaurant we lunched at suggested the closure was a consequence of a tragic accident there in January that uh, seems to have, uh, that appeared to have claimed the lives of four youth who apparently were on a pleasure trip at the reservoir. This account meant that the reservoir had been closed to tourists since then. However, I cannot verify the credibility of this. But as of now, it does appear the reservoir is closed for public access until further notice. To compensate for not being able to visit the Kotipali Reservoir, we looked for a pose alternative. Google suggested the Sarunpali Lake, and we followed suit. We have no sense of direction on how you can get to the main road, we're just following. This is uh, off-roading with the, the Renault Kaiga. Renault Kaiga's ground clearance is definitely coming handy on these uh, extremely bumpy, patchy dirt roads. idea which village is this and all we need is a little sight of a, of the usual roads that we are quite used to seeing auto diggya matlab tension nahi abhi ja sakte That brings us to the end of our day outing to Anantagiri Hills, guys. We spent a wonderful time there. Now, we thank you very much if you've uh, been with me so far. Then, and if you did like the content, then do it a thumbs up. Drop in a comment if you like. And do subscribe if that is what uh, you would like to do. And uh, do look after yourself. I'll see you in another video then. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care all.